Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our 2020 Koala Kids We Believe Happy Helps Lunch. Who would have ever thought we'd make it? I'm not going to talk about the year because we all know what a rotten year it's been. However, at Koala Kids we've remained happy, we've remained focused and we've remained committed to providing small things for children with cancer and their families um, and for the young people uh, up to 25 years who have done it really, really tough with a cancer diagnosis. We have 16 ladies uh, hosting up to 16 guests in their homes today and next Thursday which we believe is a tremendous achievement because we only hit the button, um, what was it, two and a half weeks ago when Premier Dan announced that we could have up to 16 guests in our home. So thank you everyone for responding with such enthusiasm and incredible support to not miss a lunch um, because a lot of you have been before. Those who are new, we welcome you um, and I'll talk a little bit more about Koala Kids later. I want to particularly thank Quat Quatta, Fee Khans for developing a great menu for today which I know you're all going to enjoy joy with the coriander on the side um, and the team down at Quat Quatta who have been amazing during COVID um, together with the team we provided uh, 50 Monash healthcare workers with meals as a surprise one day when they were leaving the hospital um, and the following Thursday we provided a hundred healthcare workers at the Alfred uh, with yummy meals too. We also did a fabulous flower run during the first week of COVID um, and these were just very small silver linings that we identified and as we got further into COVID uh, we identified more of them. Thank you to the flower store for doing our flowers today and for coordinating that flower drop that we did. Brog Hollow um, to Kieran Grant Griffiths who always support Koala Kids. Uh, we thank you for the Frog Hollow wines. You all have plenty. We don't want it back. Well, we do want it back if it's left over. To Lara and David at Simmons Linen Hire who donated Linen Hire to each of our hostesses who need to hire it. Very, very generous. Again, in a year where they got smashed because there haven't been any events. Um, and for everybody, there is a 10% discount on your Christmas order if you want to order your linen hire for Christmas. To Purpose Entertainment, to Peter and Lynn for being there for when our dams, da damsels in distress phoned um, trying to get their YouTube up so that you could see me now. We thank Pete and Lynn and they're always supporting our events and they video us and they provide AV for us um, and we have a lovely, a lovely relationship and we thank them for their continued support. Liberty Bell, again, another regular at Koala Kids events and particularly wonderful supporters of our lunch and there's a beautiful gift um, of a sunscreen, uh, 50 plus sunscreen for each of you in your gift bag. Jess Butchie, whom without I wouldn't be here now, we all wouldn't be here today. She loves a spreadsheet and she got this one down to a very fine art and Jess and I have worked together tirelessly. Jess is a salaried volunteer. Uh, she is paid 48 hours 38 hours a week, sorry Jess, I wish it was 48. And she volunteers the rest and she does it enthusiastically and she does it without any um, any problems whatsoever. And to our, our supporters today, Coe, David Cohen, Pixie's husband and Marty Bruce for with Jess delivering all your meals and making sure that you got the food on time. To Lisa and Ashley Corsman, our foundation partners at, at Corjo. I don't have to tell you what's happened to the travel goods business during the year, but needless to say, the building has always been there for Jess and I if we've needed to call in. We've all had our COVID safe and we will continue to have our COVID safe as we move into our COVID normal plan and Corjo support. Again, we wouldn't be here without them and we thank them um, and we appreciate every do, everything they do for Koala Kids. And to a team of around about 60 volunteers who've worked with us remotely during the year, making contactless pickups and deliveries, we thank you all and we hope that we're going to be able to get together and, um, and enjoy ourselves before Christmas. From the moment Jess and I took up our positions um, in our respective homes late March, uh, we remained positive. Every day we tried to look for silver linings. We didn't find them every day, but we did find them most days. We distributed literally dozens of litres of hand sanitizer and hundreds of masks to families earlier during COVID. We expanded our hospital wet network to now include 23 hospitals. And we are now providing small things to around about 110 families in Ronald McDonald houses, which is really exciting. Families through Ronald McDonald house get their accommodation. They they get some odd breakfast items and we're supplementing all of that with a whole lot of other small things that our families are used to and they're enjoying now at Ronald McDonald House. 
We've developed and built a happy base of more than 145 families, most of whom have got children in treatment now, some, sadly, whose children have grown their angel wings during COVID, but they have remained on our happy base so that the siblings and their other children can continue to enjoy the things that they've grown to love about koala kids. We also now have around 10 young people, aged between 10 and 20, sorry, 15 and 25, and we're customising beautiful cartons of things, personal hygiene, snacks, activities and other things that they can do during hospital. These kids had to go into hospital during COVID without a visitor, not a parent, nor a sibling, nor a best friend. So we've done everything in our power to make sure there's plenty of things for them to do when they get there. We've provided lots of Zoom activities um, and we've packed cartons full of interactive activities that we've sent to families in their homes. We've done pizza making, we've done piñata making, we've made sure that the kids have had things to make for their parents on Mother's Days and Father's Days. Um, and let me tell you, they've all been kept busy for Christmas. We've sent a Koala Kids smash cake, like a chocolate piñata, to every single child and young person celebrating their birthday during COVID, so long as they're on our happy base and our happy base is continuing to grow. We haven't missed a birthday. Some of the cakes did arrive cracked before they got there, but we've made every effort since then to ensure that they will be delivered safely. Our garage at home was very quickly turned into our temporary warehouse um, with husband Stephen, warehouse manager in his orange high-vis jacket, orange of course, and we've distributed more than 1,600 consignments in our wonderful Koala Kids cartons um, out of the garage, and that's with thanks to Fiona Gaminda, who keeps us um, well stocked with different sized cartons. And hospitals and families see that carton arriving and they get really exciting as to what might be in it. It didn't all happen without glitches, but we've, we've done it pretty smoothly. We've just completed some qualitative and quantitative research with 125 of our families, um, and we came up trumps. They love what we do. They love the way we do it. They love the timing of the way we do it. And they're looking forward to us continuing to provide them with all the choices of the activities and the therapeutic resources that we provide them well after COVID has long gone. Whilst we haven't been able to visit families in their hospitals, we have been providing families and healthcare workers with vouchers for morning and afternoon tea or for lunches. Two of the most exciting developments um, that we've had time to work on out of our ideas file have been our Koala Kids socks. Uh, and there's a pair for each of you in your gift bag uh, and our pole clips. A pole clip is a novelty clip that a child, there's 20 of them, the children can choose from, on admission to the hospital. So while, God forbid, their parents are floundering with their cancer diagnosis or they're being readmitted. Um, and sadly, we have so many frequent flyers who uh, spend many weeks and months either in one long stay in hospital or they keep coming back. So the kids can have their favourite pole clips that they'll be able to keep, or each time they come in, they can pick different pole clips. And we're really excited about those because Koala Kids has never actually been at the bedside on admission. So we will be front of mind um, with our happy things um, and our small things that we believe make a difference um, to their treatment paths. We're finishing the year dispatching more than 150 gingerbread houses for families and young people to build and decorate with thanks to Donna Sweets and our friends at Wilton Cookies and 100 families children, so the children of 100 families, um, on our happy base have printed their hands on ceramic tiles, each child to a tile. They've returned the tiles to us. The odd one broke, we had to get it reprinted, or the children have had to reprint it. We've then, Sigal, our beautiful ceramicist, has personalised each tile, glazed them and fired them, and we've returned them to the families in time for Christmas. The last few, in fact, are going out next week. We've developed our new website, um, which includes an e-commerce stop, of course. It's called our Happy Store, and we're encouraging you all to visit uh, and buy Happy for this Christmas. It's filled with fabulous small items, uh, Koala Kids branded things that we give to families and their children. Uh, great for stocking fillers and, and Kris Kringle if you're looking for them. This year, we've all learnt what it's like to live in isolation. We've all learned what it's like to live in fear of infection, of an illness that we don't necessarily know what the outcome will be. And we've all lived um, a life that none of us expected that we would ever live. Welcome to the life of a family with a child with cancer. 
I want to thank Dan Lawson for videoing throughout COVID with his mask on and with his gloves on. And he's traveled as far as Leon Gatha um, delivering meals with thanks to a very generous philanthropist. She has ensured that around 12 families each month have received beautiful treat meal packs from James Ball and Mark Pierce uh, at Treat Catering. And Dan is traveling around Melbourne today with Jess filming and photographing so that we can bring the whole event and all the, um, the hostesses' homes together into one photo album. And last but no means least to Robbie Connell, who last week filmed Jess building and decorating her gingerbread house and on Monday came and filmed me to make this and who's been a great supporter of Koala Kids and we thank Robbie and everybody who's contributed today. And I think on that note, I'm going to let you eat um, and enjoy each other. Today was all about girlfriends catching up after what's been a, a, it's gone quickly, but it's been a long year. It's great to see, I'm hoping everyone's dressed up and they're happy and, and, and thanking you all for supporting Koala Kids. Enjoy your gifts. Please um, contact us if you want to know more about what we've done. We will be sending lots of photos. You'll be visited by a photographer and a videographer today, so we're going to pretend it was like one big lunch. It's not a virtual event. It's a real live event that you're all at. I'm the only bit in this that's virtual. And we hope that those of you who would like to make a donation, there's no auction today. There's no raffle. There's no other fundraising, um, but there is a pledge card uh, with a divine, irresistible image on the front of it and there are instructions as to how you can make a donation and further support Koala Kids. But in the meantime, we thank you for attending today uh, for your support and we wish you all a very happy, a safe and a healthy Christmas in 2021. Enjoy.